ten. Uh, you mean Utah expectations? Yes, indeed. Let's talk about it, man. Yeah, it's loosely autobiographical, and so I, like I mentioned, I I've lived in Utah my whole life, and so I decided to write about the experiences I had growing up here, and and then to make it more interesting, added some characters to give it a fictional twist. And I was fortunate enough to find a publisher based out of Chicago who liked it enough to put it out out as an ebook. Now, uh, how how can we get a hold of this? How do we uh, how do we find you? How, how do how do we uh, how do we get a, get our hands on this? It's on um, any e reader, so the iPad if if uh, you have an iPad or the um, Amazon Kindle, the Barnes and Noble Nook. It's on any of those devices. The publisher didn't think there'd be a huge market for it outside of Utah because it's a it's a Mormon based book. Yeah. And so he, he said, let's put it out um, as an ebook um, and see how it goes. And if the sales are great and we get a lot of feedback from it, we'll see if we can transition it to, to a hard copy. Now, what was the, uh, what was, what was the, the inspiration for you to write this book? Well, I'm, I'm in my 30s now. And when, yeah. I was, when I was 18, I was getting ready to serve a Mormon mission. And then my brother came home early from his Mormon missions are two years. And he came home after about six months. Yeah. And so when he came home, you know, we, we talked about the reasons why he decided to come home and, and just all the circumstances surrounding that. And he told me, look, you know, the Mormon church, it's a great church, but don't do this if you don't want to and make sure that you know for sure what you're getting into so I just decided to look into the history of their religion and just start asking questions. And I wasn't really satisfied with the answers. And so I ultimately decided to leave. And then I decided to put that experience into the book. Now, uh, this, this is an incredible book. It's, uh, it's available uh, for e-readers. Um, what's the overall theme of the book? I... I think that the theme is, you know, they just question the things you've been taught. It's, yeah. I, I don't want it to come across as any kind of anti-Mormon or anti-religious book because I don't feel that it is. I'm not against any kind of faith or dogma. I just felt that certain questions needed to be asked. And then once I asked, the, asked them, I didn't feel I was given honest and upright answers. So yeah. the, the overall theme I would say is, you know, have some – have some inquisitiveness, have some, some intellectual pursuits and self-discovery. We've got uh, Michael Wojcikowski with us today here on RadioZenu.com. Also our good friends over there at TalkRadioX.com. Talking about his latest book, his e-reader. It is uh, out everywhere. Um, who do you envision to be the potential readers? I know that you mentioned your, your publisher said that uh, outside of Utah, people wouldn't be wouldn't be quite as interested in this book as uh, people inside Utah, but who do you envision to be the potential readers there, man? Anyone who has any level of curiosity with, with um, religion and particularly the Mormon church, I think with Mitt Romney's campaign run, it, it put Mormonism on the map a little bit, and there were just a lot of uncertainties and questions surrounding the faith. So, and, and also any, any, person who's felt alienated because they were they decided to question things they've been taught it's a pretty universal story and and some universal themes i believe the feedback i've received from it's been really great and a lot of people have contacted me most of them private and they say you know the the characters in the book i've experienced those same emotions and those same frustrations so thanks for putting into words what i've been struggling with my whole life We've got Michael Wojcikowski with us today here on RadioZenu.com, also TalkRadioX.com. And uh, what makes your book different than others like it as far as uh, talking about Mormons, the Mormon faith, and everything? Well, it's, it's loosely autobiographical, and there's just a, there's such an authentic element to it. it it's real. It's, it's from the perspective of a 18, 19-year-old in just the – the scenarios that surround this climate, it's very relatable. 
Uh, Michael, a heck of a book here. Um, is there a particular chapter you'd like to share with our listeners here? Uh, I tell people if, if they're having a hard time connecting with the book on any level to go to chapter 23. It's later in the book, and it's when the, the main character's name is Daniel. He decides to have a sit-down with the Mormon um, mission president, and he just lays it all on the table for him. He he just gives him a bunch of questions that have been plaguing him for the last little bit for this hero's journey that he's been on, and he's just asking the mission president questions that he feels need to be answered, need to be addressed, and I think that's the most powerful chapter. That that chapter, it's chapter 23, and there's another chapter, I believe it's 12 or 13, where the two brothers, Daniel and Samuel, they sit down and have a dinner, and that's when Samuel just opens up to Daniel and says, look, this is, these are the types of things you need to look at, the types of things you need to evaluate and question. And if you like the answers that you're given, then, you know, continue with the religion and pursue your mission. And if you don't, then, you know, go on to other, other ventures. Well, let's, uh, it, it sounds like it's going to be a pretty cool read for those interested in the Mormon faith and uh, Mormonism in general and uh, everything of that nature. Uh, before we let you go, how do we connect with you online, man? You got a website or anything? I do. It's michaelwojcikowski.net, and uh, Wojcikowski is a pretty lengthy name, so um, good luck trying to find it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, yeah, love yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that. Now, yeah, yeah. Um, what is what is the name of the book so people can look it up on Amazon and and, yeah, and just say, Google search it? Yeah, that's that's probably the easier route. It's Utah Expectations. If you go to Amazon, I and if the iStore on your iPad, um, just type in Utah Expectations, it'll come up, and then you'll see my name on the cover there, and that'll give you a little bit easier. Um, route to find me but yeah would you cow it's a, it's a tough name <laughs> people well, tell me it looks like someone sat on a keyboard and that's just what my name uh, came out of <laughs> that's awesome well yeah. michael good luck with the book thanks for being on with us today we'll talk soon brother i appreciate it all right thank you all right man talk to you soon later it is of course radio zenu.com talk radio x.com Here's my man, Anthony Gomes. It's up to zero here on Radio Xenu. Feel the spotlight shine. Tide rope dancing. Another chance.